Hello YouTubers and welcome to my channel, uh, thanks for visiting. If you like the channel please subscribe and uh, press the notification bell for a uh, notification of upcoming videos. Uh, if you like the content of this video please give it a like and a share and feel free to leave a comment if you so wish. Uh, what I'd like to talk about today is uh, Airgrid. They, uh, on the, the network for supplying electricity to homes and businesses and farms in Ireland. The last two days they've given amber warnings. It's to say that they have enough power, but the amount of power they have, if there's more draw on the network, uh, is uh, fairly small. Uh, in the past, this wouldn't be an issue, but uh, because we're relying on solar and wind, and that's the way we're heading uh, something that would give you consistent power all throughout the year like say fossil fuels uh, coal or say in Ireland we've loads of turf in England and all the UK they've loads of coal but they can't use it uh, so the start of the madness the results of the madness of bringing in policies for renewables when we haven't got the, them in place yet even in a lovely sunny day, solar panels would be brilliant. They'd be pumping out the electricity. But you have to use it on the day if you haven't got storage for that. You have to have a battery bank. You have to have enough battery banks to be able to store it. So you can use it whenever you wish. Also, on the likes of a sunny day, uh, your wind turbines don't do uh, much spinning on a, a nice sunny, calm day. So that part of the equation can be out. But like again, if you have, say, wind turbines on a lovely windy day, you have to have a place to store it, or you have to use that electricity immediately. So, the start of the the madness with regards to power is starting to happen. Uh, our grid is at, say, near, near breaking point, and... What the green uh, lobby wants is for us to put more load on that system by having people buy electric vehicles and rely on a system of wind or solar that isn't consistent. Like, even if, like during the transition, we were able to use fossil fuel generators as a backup, that would make sense. Like, I'm not against renewables, believe me, but what I am against is an unplanned system being forced down everybody's throats. Like, I've no problem with electric cars. Uh, if I could afford one and if uh, the charger points were around the place, I wouldn't rule one out. The price had to be right. But, like, I'm just saying, uh, wait till the winter now when it's real, if it's a real cold winter and if there's no wind... There won't be much sun anyway in the part of the hemisphere where Ireland and the UK is. Uh, there's going to be power cuts. And as I said in a previous video, uh, we should reopen and recommission turf uh, power plants to, uh, to produce electricity. We used to do it in the past. Uh, during World War II, uh, there was U-boats hit supplies in the Atlantic and... England was at war and she needed all her uh, resources to uh, fight the war. So we had to rely on turf. It looks like uh, turf is plentiful in Ireland. If we have turf and it's going into power stations, it's consistent. We don't have to rely. Uh, we don't have to rely as much on the weather as you would for in solar, etc. I know you have to dry turf and you have to look after it properly and all, but like. Uh, the unplanned madness of all these new regulations coming in. Uh, people are going to be cold this winter. That's a dead cert. Uh, there's going to be power cuts. Uh, what do you think? Uh, let us know in the comments. Thanks. Bye bye.